What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff, and you are watching Ride, and today we are revisiting an old friend. This right here, this is the Boosted Rev. If you remember back a few weeks, maybe even months at this point, because time, she is a flying. We did a whole unboxing video on Boosted Rev and two Boosted Skateboards. But you're like a rad millennial, right? I'm pretty rad. Yeah. We're gonna take a deeper dive into this super rad bit of awesome mobility. So here are the top specs that you need to know on the Boosted Rev. Right off the bat, the range is up to 22 miles. Now that is terrain, speed, and weight dependent. And that top speed, this thing can hit 24 miles per hour. It can climb a 25% grade, and it has three different riding modes. The entire time we've had this, we've kept it in three, which is the highest of the modes because, well, it's a lot more fun that way. The curb weight, if you will, of this boosted rev is 46 pounds. The electrified hotness comes thanks to a pair of 750 watt motors. One in the front, one in the back, which combine for 1500 watts of sweet, sweet electric power. There are three ways to stop the boosted rev. The rear brake is a regenerative electric brake. There's a mechanical disc brake, and you can also stomp on this rear fender. You've got a front headlight and a rear brake light. The tires are pneumatic and filled with air. Of the three brakes, the thumb lever, the thumb wheel is the best one, and it feels nicely made and milled. The second best brake is the handbrake, and then if you really need an emergency stop, you've got the fender brake. That's only to help you in the event of an emergency. The thumb brake right here is the best one that slows you down and does all the regenerative braking. When you're ready to go fast, just nail it and go. So, you wanna buy one of these, don't you? Well, it's not cheap. The base price is $1,600. I think they're on sale right now if you act quick. This one's just under $1,300 on their website. I checked before we came out to shoot this. However, I will say that when it arrives, it feels like a solid, well-built piece of equipment. We actually let one of our staff members borrow these and he had to bail on it because a car cut him off and he had to dump it and he rolled into the grass median. And it just got a scratch on the side, but he picked it up and he kept going and it was fine. When it's time to stow this, that's easy too. Flip the kickstand. There's a lever right here. You unlatch this. This folds down and locks into where the rear brake is. Then you can take off your helmet so you don't look like a goofball, and then pick it up. So it is well built, it's well made, it feels well put together. The packaging it comes in is really nicely designed. It's a solid product. Boosted makes really nice things. And this scooter is no exception. I like it a lot. Don't tell me what to do. Be good, the rest I can say as I'm out scooting around, which is pretty darn good. And then full, you can do stuff like really competitions. Because it has two motors, you can do some sweet tricks. I almost ate <laughs> I almost took that wheelie to midnight. 